off a great weekend. Natasha, I hear uh, what's ahead is kind of like a spring preview. Not exactly spring, <laughs> but it's like a teaser. Yeah, yeah. teasing us. Yeah, teasing. April is teasing us at this point. Yeah. So here we are, not quite to the middle of February, getting closer, and it's anything like what's considered normal for this time of year. We're talking about the end of the week when we really start to warm up a good 10 degree jump by this Friday. Until then, we had some areas of fog uh, tonight and that will continue through tomorrow morning. In the afternoon though, it'll feel pretty nice with uh, partly cloudy skies. Today's high, we got up to 52, normal is 50. The record for this day, 62, we certainly were far from that. That was the last set in 1996. We had a record tie in Eugene, it was 61 there. Uh, temperatures along the coast today were in the low 50s to upper 40s, low 60s central Oregon, Baker City though, only 34 degrees today. So yes, yeah, spring-like is the theme, especially this Friday and Saturday. That's when we're expecting to get up to 60 degrees, and that is when we're going to be really close to those records for each day. 62 is the record in Portland for Friday, and 63 is the record for Saturday. Right now, your temperatures are feeling pretty nice and close to normal for your overnight low temperatures. We're going to get down into the upper 30s by tomorrow morning, but right now we're at 44 in Portland. Wind is out of the west at 5 miles per hour. And right now at the coast, you're seeing a variety here. 36 Astoria. We're down to 35 right now. Salem already freezing central Oregon and seeing the 40s out towards the Dalles. Okay, so your planner for tomorrow, tomorrow morning, waking up to mostly cloudy skies. Some of you dealing with the fog, especially close uh, to any body of water, helping to provide a little bit of extra moisture out there. But you know, today, earlier today, we had some areas of drizzle, but it wasn't enough to actually measure in the valley. By tomorrow afternoon, we're partly cloudy, mid 40s, and then low 50s for your daytime highs. Wind won't be much of a factor. In fact, under this ridge of high pressure, we're not seeing a whole lot of mixing going on. This is kind of a nice recipe for some stagnant air. We had that stagnant air advisory at one point today. That has expired, but the way this week is going to go, we're probably going to see more of that, watching air quality closely, and dense fog will also be a part of the picture for some areas. So when will this ridge break down? Well, we need our jet stream to do something more than just give us a consistent ridge over the Pacific. Will that happen anytime soon? Well, probably not until we get to, not even this weekend, but we have to wait until next Monday. Next Monday, that'll be Valentine's Day. We might get some colder air into the picture as soon as that ridge is able to break down. So tomorrow morning, looking for some areas of fog in the valley. It won't last too long. We'll start to see partly cloudy skies probably by about noon, and that's going to be the theme all week long until we get to Monday looking for our next system to come into the picture and at that time with cooler temperatures in the picture as well now we could be talking about some mountain snow so mountain snow for your Valentine's Day if you're going to be heading up to the hill keep that in mind seven day forecast looks like this so tomorrow low 50s mid 50s Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday near record warm temperatures in the low 60s overnight lows will be in the upper 30s and then again, that next chance for rain, that would be on Monday. And those 60s, though, that's that spring tease I'm talking about. It's going to feel good. It will, though. Thanks, <laughs> Natasha.